What's good family? In this video, I'm going to be bringing y'all the first iteration of Hype Weekly. I don't know if this is going to be the official name of the series. If you guys have a better name, make sure you comment that down below. The comment with the most likes will be the new name for the weekly iteration of me talking about everything hyped from sneaker leaks, collaborations, you name it. If you guys do end up enjoying this type of video, make sure you leave a like on the down below. Let's see if we can get this to 100 plus likes. That way I know you guys are enjoying the content subscribe while you're down there as well we're on road to 23 thousand subscribers before we get into the news for today we're gonna have a quick recap on the kobe 6 reverse grinch shock drop we were expecting it to happen around 11 24 a.m drop actually ended up happening at around 2 p.m eastern and guess what yup i took an l i didn't expect the best for this release simply because a lot of people were gonna try to go for these if you did end up copying the reverse grinch comment w's in the comments but let's get into the this week's episode. First sneaker I want to cover today is the Military Blue Jordan 4s, which are supposed to release in May 2024. We have leaks of what the sneaker is going to be looking like. This is one of my favorite Jordans of all time. I've had this sneaker twice in my life and they got cooked both times. I'm glad that these are going to be coming back. I'm due for a new pair of these. I was looking to pick up a pair for resale. So when I heard these were dropping again, I got super excited. We're going to see these in that OG treatment. Nike Air on the back. I know a lot of us are excited about this one. I just wanted to show y'all the leaked images for the military blue Jordan 4s. Is this a cop or a drop for y'all? Come on, bro. This is better than the SB4s. I don't care what nobody says. These are sexy, especially with that Nike Air, bro. You just can't go wrong. Must cop for me. It's a no brainer, bro. May is looking beautiful based off of this sneaker right here, but that's the first sneaker I wanted to cover. Second, we got another Jordan 4, this time the reimagined bread Jordan 4s. These are actually touching down at this point. Somebody offered me a pair, but the prices are crazy still. So I'm waiting patiently for these resale prices to drop a little bit before I pull the trigger. Material looks insane, bro. Look at the tumbliness on this leather. This ain't no joke. This is not to be played with. I understand people want the OGs with the suede and the new buck and shit like that. Royals in the leather. Put all of that to the side. This is a beautiful full looking sneaker i'm gonna need these mandatory i'm honestly gonna pick them up early for a review then i'm gonna need to double up on these if i could get them for retail i'm not gonna lie to y'all they're looking splendid my brother we gonna need this pair in hand this material is perfect i honestly feel like this makes the jordan 4 indestructible like jordan 4s they get crusty after a while but once you throw this leather on there it's all you need it's all we needed this whole time bro nike air on the back can't complain bro let me know in the comments if you guys are growing to like these. For me, I always like this four more than I like the Royal Reimagined. And even those grew on me. I'm not going to lie. They're both fire. These are supposed to release All-Star Weekend in February. So if you guys are trying to cop these, coming sooner than later. Next up, we got the Jordan 1 Low OG Mochas, which are supposed to release August 2024. This is a clean color. You just can't go wrong with brown, black, and white. Black toe color blocking on this one. Nothing I could complain about. If I could cop for retail definitely will banger for next summer honestly a safe bet for jordan brand to throw some brown on a sneaker just to make it pop this one's a cop for retail at least i don't know if i'm willing to dish out resale prices unless they're gonna resell for what the jordan ones are reselling for now then at that point i wouldn't mind it next we got the green glow jordan threes honestly this is one of those pairs where in my opinion the mock-up is better than the official release only green glow we're gonna get on this pair is the eyelets i think the jump man you could kind of see that it has some color on there but it's nothing crazy bro i like this more than this maybe i'm tripping but if you're gonna get a green glow sneaker at least make it green glow not black cement with a little bit of green we also got olympic sixes set to release fall 2024 this is one of those colorways that i'm actually a huge fan of i love jordan sixes i need more pairs in my collection so come next year this is gonna be one of the ones that will be on my radar hands down i love the olympic theming on this one isn't what the official sneaker is gonna look like but we are hearing that they are bringing them back hopefully they throw nike air on the back just to make it real right clean colorway nonetheless is this a copper a drop let me know in the comments we got two pairs of sbs one being the city of love pack releasing in february next year this right here is my swag 
These go crazy, bro. I'm gonna need that burgundy pair more than anything. I don't really know about that creaminess, but the burgundy, those slap, bro. Satin kind of makes it a little bit more feminine to me. I don't know if it's just me or do y'all feel the same? It's not a bad pair per se. I just feel like it'll get dirty easily, creased easily. It's not one of those pairs that I'll be inclined to wear as often as this burgundy pair. These are fire, bro. Burgundy crush pair is nuts. Crazy material. You could already tell. Look at the front of the sneaker. The toe box has this crazy tumbled leather. More saturated burgundy. Also looks like it has good materials. Tongue is ashy, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Red stitching going throughout the sneaker. There's just a lot of little details on this pair. Come February 2024, we're gonna need these. I'm not gonna lie. If you guys are gonna cop, let me know in the comments. Beautiful pack. We also got the Raisa Liao. Might have just butchered her whole name. I apologize. This pair of dunks is set to release spring 2024. This might be one of those pairs that flies under the radar. I just don't see myself picking these up unless it was like a retail pickup to see if I changed my mind in person. Does have that same tight booth leather where it's like engraved or like punched in with this type of vibe. You guys can see it behind the swoosh. I just feel like there's a lot going on from that to then the pattern on the beige color, pink R embroidered, which I'm assuming is her logo. You could obviously take these little things off. It's not horrible, bro. Maybe I'm shitting on the sneaker. I got to see them on feet a little bit more. See if they grow on me. But for now, it's definitely a pass. Next up, we got the Jordan 3 Craft. These are fire, fire pair of sneakers. I love that Nike Air behind the translucent Jumpman. Sick cream color on the tab as well. That shit is fire. Double layer elephant print. One having the elephant print. Next layer, just having some premium suede on there. Suede covering these eyelets. Jumpman with the shadow of the Jumpman. Like, bruh details right there these are clean clean from the top view you could kind of see it's a baby blue color almost what we got on the craft fours craft threes are better than the fours any day translucent outsole details are just insane bro and the materials look buttery this is one of those pairs i'm gonna need on feet they look crazy too bro damn this is a banger bro now we're gonna get into some travis scott news we actually have a couple different stories from travis scott one being the fact that there's going to be a Jordan 1 low black olive. So it's going to be similar to the OG mochas that we got with that black and the brown, but they're going to swap the brown with this dark olive. I know we heard there was going to be no more Travis Scott Jordan 1 lows or whatever. We heard that. And then literally two months later, we got the Travis Scott Jordan 1 low golfs. That was obviously false information. Now we're hearing fall 2024. We're going to see this black olive pair. Honestly, I have OG mocha highs and I wish I would have just got the lows i love the travis scott jordan one lows way more than the highs it's just something about the low that does it for me i'm glad i have them nonetheless but if i could pick these up when they drop it's a no-brainer bro these are gonna be cracked obviously this is a mock-up from the color code it basically hints at this right here it's one of those pairs where if i don't hit for retail my bank is not gonna be friends with me after that because i might have to still pull the trigger on these let me know in the comments if you y'all are tired of the Travis Scott Jordans or is this going to be one of those pairs that you have to pick up if it's looking anything like the OG Mocha Lowe's must cop next we got Jumpman Jack Travis Scott signature line with Jordan brand we have a couple different colorways which are supposed to release starting supposedly this holiday season so I guess this is going to be coming real soon this specific colorway is going to be coming out spring 2024 what I've noticed is that he's taking every OG color he had from the Jordan 1 low mochas which you see right here olives we saw reverse mochas and a bunch of other colors that we seen release on the Jordan 1 low he's slapping it on his brand and it's respectable you feel me it's a clean color palette he's just trying to make his own trainer if that makes sense I wouldn't mind picking up a pair just to see if I'm feeling it you feel me or is it giving me Jordan fusion vibes I gotta see him in person we got the taupe haze pair cream with the navy blue gum bottom isn't my favorite I'm not gonna lie to y'all but it's not bad. It's cool. It's cool. Fall 2024 for this pair. We also saw the Travis Scott Jordan 1 High Black Mocha. This is a sample that debuted when Gold was having their Black Friday sale. Somebody out there got these, bro. Literally the Palomino Jordan 1. So it goes to show with a little bit of collaborating, a little bit of hype, a sneaker is way more loved than the way it should be. Palomino is not reselling for nothing crazy. And I'm pretty sure if these were to release, 
these tomorrow. Everybody's gonna be licking meat for these, bro. I'm not gonna lie. They cool, but I'm good with my Palominos, bro. At the end of the day, this is a sample from 2019, so y'all can see clearly where Jordan Brand got the Palomino colorway from. Basically, the Palominos with a reverse swoosh on it, but that is what we had as far as sneakers for this week. I am gonna briefly cover the Supreme drop list. I know some of my peeps out there still want me to cover the drop list, so I'm gonna just zoom through this ship. There is a TNF collab, and honestly, the collab is kind of ass, bro. I'm gonna take y'all to the bottom of this list real quick. They got the weed sweater shirt and pants, bro. What the f is going on with Supreme these days? Dropping that mid for real. There are some pieces here and there that still slap, but nah, bro. Ear flat beanie dookie, reversible camp cap. How is that even possible? I'm not gonna lie. How do you even flip it? And I don't even want to talk about it. Tartan flannel, not my favorite. Velvet paisley boonies, not that bad. You got the mountain pants and the parka. The same shit over and over and over. We got the reversible pullover, which this is actually hard. I'm gonna open this one up because I actually like this one. Polar tech, y'all know this gonna cost that bread, but it is reversible reversible fleece on one side this is hard i would honestly go for this cream color and then you got that digi camo on the other side this go crazy bro best color is that cream velvet camp cap it's cool duffel keychain that shit's ass the shoulder bag is actually not bad i love this messenger bag type aesthetic on it it's something different if i were to pick this up it'll probably just be the black color because it is velvet this shit would get dirty instantly oh this is dropping this week chill this is probably my favorite piece dropping bro the championships box logo fit it this is actually a banger bro if you get this in this cream with the lavender pair it with the dj Khaled fives that's a fire fit bro i'm not gonna lie let me know in the comments if y'all agree i think that would be a clean ass fit i want to see what color brim this navy one has black is cool but it's literally the same shit over and over i feel like if i decide to go for this it will be in that lavender with the cream and I'm probably gonna have to pick up the DJ Khaled Fives to match the hat, bruh. I know it sounds crazy, but it is what it is. We got the Wildcat sideline, whatever the f it's cool nothing crazy i honestly feel like that reversible fleece should be way higher than this jacket suede gloves we good on that beanie low-key look fake bro look at the stitching on this beanie and then look at the stitching on that it just look fake maybe i'm tripping there's the applique cable knit sweater this one comes in four colors and honestly it's one of those wear it on christmas eve type sweaters they're gonna tax for that one so i'm not even impressed duffel bag i like the fact that you could turn it from a book bag to a duffy but realistically it's a pack 4D human skull is kind of crazy, bro. I know some people are actually enthusiasts of anatomy and shit like that, so I see why people would fuck with it. For me, it is a pass. I think it's cool what they did with this, put the grill on them that says Supreme. That's kind of hard. I just can't have a skull in my house. I don't even know how I would, like, what? You feel me? I'm good on this. And last up, we got the Nupsy, bro. I'm gonna open it just for the sake of opening it at this point. This is velvet. It's nothing special, bro. Like, we saw leaks of a leaf print that would have been way better than this shit right here it almost just seems lazy bruh let me know in the comments if y'all are picking up anything from supreme this week that's pretty much what we got for me if i end up going for anything it definitely will be this fitted this fitted go crazy i'm a fitted fanatic bruh if y'all want to see my fitted collection let me know in the comments i am also a fan of this shirling reversible pullover masterpiece in that digi camo that should go crazy bro we pretty much covered everything that i wanted to go over this week if y'all enjoyed this episode of hype weekly make sure y'all leave a like down below get this shit to 100 plus likes i would highly appreciate it i love y'all for constantly coming through and showing love subscribe to the channel on road to 23,000 subscribers and we're actually growing at a fast rate thanks to all of y'all who have been subscribing also let me know in the comments if you have a better title to the series than hype weekly i feel like we could do better bro we could definitely do better so comment down below and i'll pin the comment that i like the best all that being said i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one Peace.